What's up guys, I device help here, and I never thought I'd come back to an old 32-bit device to make a jailbreak video today, but it is a very exciting video, and I'm going to show you guys, if you have a 32-bit device that's supported by this, you can run iOS 6 if you're jailbroken on iOS 9 on a 32-bit device. Now, list the devices compatible, not all 32 devices are compatible, but the list is going to be down below, and you must be jailbroken. So this is my third generation iPad, it is running iOS 9.0.2 and it is jailbroken of course and there is Cydia the first thing you want to do is go ahead and launch Cydia and we're going to tap into the sources tab we're going to click edit add and I'll have a source in the description down below that you're going to add to this here and then just click add source and you're going to add it and it's going to look just like this it's called cool booter and it is in beta this package you can go ahead and install by simply clicking on it and click the install button up at the top right but of course I've already have it installed, there it is, on my springboard. Now this application is going to allow us to boot into iOS 6. So let's go ahead and launch it. And it's going to give you a prompt to tell you to back up all your data just in case anything goes wrong and this is the smart thing to do. But it should work just fine even though it's still in beta. Now you want to go ahead and click the install button and right here is going to give you the option of which software you want to install. So depending on which device you have, it gives you different versions of iOS that you can install. So I'm going to go with one of the classics, iOS 6. 0.1.2 and I click I'm um, ready and it's going to ask me if I want to jailbreak that software uh, while it's installing. I'm just going to click yes and then yes for various and let's go ahead and wait for the boot. Now it's going to go ahead and download the software first then it's going to go to the installation process just like it does in iTunes but without the computer part of course and we're going to wait for the download I'll be right back. Okay so at this point the software is almost done downloading now that's going to be subject to your network connection it depends on how long or how fast your network connection is that's what's going to determine how fast the download of the software is going to be and now at this point it's verifying IPSW so it's verifying the software and let's go ahead and continue waiting. Okay so now it is extracting the firmware Okay, so now it's creating the partition, so just, this part takes the longest, so just be very patient. The whole process could take up to 20 minutes plus, depending again on your network connection or which device you're running it as well, so be very patient. Alright, so now it looks like it's flashing iOS 6.1.2 onto the uh, device itself. Let's go ahead and wait. Okay, so as the device is flashing the software onto the device, you may get the storage almost full, just click done, and it's going to finish up installation okay so this is uh, close to the end of the process the whole process has taken me around 20 minutes I've edited the video here on YouTube of course so you don't have to sit around watching for that long but we're on the final uh, stages here and it looks like it's jailbreaking at this point so uh, close to being done here in a few minutes okay so install successful all I have to do now is uh, the first time I did this it required me to uh, lock my device and then just wait 10 seconds and click on the home button and it started running the software uh, but it looks like the second time which is this time that I'm doing it now it didn't really ask me uh, to go ahead and lock the device so I'm gonna go ahead and click boot and it should prepare uh, iOS 6.1.2 which is the software I've been running uh, to boot up so again the first time I did this it gave me a pop-up that said go ahead and lock the device oh there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and lock the device and wait 10 seconds four five six seven eight nine ten click on the home button and after 10 seconds you'll see uh, this text scrolling let me go ahead and spin this iPad around you'll see the text scrolling there let's go ahead and wait uh, for the software to be installed <laughs> there it is the classic installation process for iOS 6 amazing it's just it never gets old seeing this I've done this uh, this is my second time doing this but it's just very exciting to see this all right okay so it looks like we're gonna go through the initial process now let me go ahead and turn this iPad this way and here we are iOS 6 let's go through the setup process here all right connect to Wi-Fi and at this point of course if you have your iCloud account set up with your iPad it's gonna ask you for your iCloud email and password after you enter the Wi-Fi network password if you don't have an iCloud account attached to the device then you don't have to enter any iCloud information alright so enable next set up as a new iPad uh, skip this skip 
<laughs> this brings back so much, so much memories. It's hilarious. And let's not send that stuff to Apple. Start using iPad. <laughs> there it is, guys. This is so cool. I cannot... Uh, I'm a loss for words. I cannot explain how happy I am to see this running on my iPad. Even though I've done it, like I said, uh, one time before uh, the filming of this video. It's just amazing to see this on my iPad running again. And I never thought I'd bring my old device back to making a video here in 2016 on how to run iOS 6. But it's just, look at the uh, look at the settings application. And it runs so smooth. Uh, did you see that animation? Everything just feels a lot better than iOS 9 which was running on the iPad prior and uh, there is the spotlight search all that stuff let's go ahead and try Siri hello Siri hello how's it feel being back in iOS 6 interesting question <laughs> here's the folders here is uh, the photos application you can see the animation let's say you want to share something you can see the transition of animations i just thought ios 6 was so cool let's go ahead and take a look here at the software and there it is 6.2.1 again if you have a compatible device it's going to be in the links down below now how do you boot back into ios 9 it's very simple just hold the power button and just reboot your device as normal let me go ahead and show you i can reboot the device here and it's going to go back to ios 9 all right, so there it is. We're back into iOS 9. And again, if you want to reboot into iOS 6, just go back. You don't have to go through the entire process again. Uh, you can go ahead and just select the boot option. It's going to tell you uh, to go ahead and lock the device as I did before. And then it's going to go ahead and boot into the software that you previously downloaded. You can uninstall the software by clicking uninstall and then selecting another one. There's an option there to uninstall. Go ahead and lock the device one more time and wait for 10 seconds. And it's going to reboot into iOS 6 no problem i hope you guys enjoy this video this is probably one of the best hacks or best applications available in cydia especially for 32-bit devices ios 6 is just amazing software to 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 see running on these devices because it ran so smoothly and uh, it's just pretty pretty cool so big props to the developer for go ahead and making this happen i hope you guys have a great day and enjoy this video and i will catch you guys on the next one peace